Thank you, Paul. And you're certainly, uh, well, we haven't called each other like this since uh, you were the master of ceremonies at our wedding. You had the one-two punch. <laughs> and you're right about my uh, athletic endeavor as a trend. I, I consider it an, an athletic event to walk across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I came to Trent, as Paul said, from Calgary. I was barely 18 years of age, and I wanted a new start. I didn't want to go to school with everybody else I'd been in school with my whole life. So I, I read an article in Time magazine about Oxford on the autonomy and came to Trent. And I thought I knew everything, of course, as some 18-year-olds do, and, uh, but I was a long way from home. And Trent gave me uh, a new home and a place where I belong. And through the relationships that I developed with friends, with professors, and also with the frontline staff, the secretaries, um, I felt a sense of increased self-esteem and a feeling of being a person, not a number like at so many universities, but recognized as an individual. And those values that I, I gained at Trent um, became part of Heads Up for Inclusion. Um, the importance of belonging, and as John Vanier says, our need to belong is really even greater than our need for love. That the importance of relationships and how to develop relationships and the importance of connections. And this has been passed on to Heads Up for Inclusion in, in the values that that organization espouses for young people who often feel like they don't belong in their communities, whether it's their schools, or their neighborhoods, or with their peer group. And the whole term amigos, actually, um, which is high school friends, came about from Trent. When I, was, uh, when I was 18, I got a letter from my amigo, who was from Havelock. And I thought that was really cool, until I went to Havelock. <laughs> Fourth year student welcomed me, and she was my she would be my friend and help me over the, the rough the rough times and the, and answer any questions. And so the term amigo seems fitting for the uh, for the program associated with Heads Up for Inclusion. Another trend connection came when we had a group of uh, students from Kenner, kids with intellectual disabilities, and we went out to, to Fleming College to meet with the marketing uh, students and their professor to talk about how to market Heads Up. And the, the teacher was Brian Davies. And some of you know the connection that Brian and Cheryl Davies have with the Trent Alumni Association. And one of the students said, after a comment that Brian made, she said, well, that's just impossible for me to do that. And Brian said, I want you to look at that word impossible and turn it around and look at what it really says. It says, I'm possible. And so that if you believe that you're possible, you can do it. And so our community forum that we had a few years ago on inclusion was titled, I'm Possible. It's one thing to start an organization and get things going and it's exciting and creative. And it's quite another to keep it going. And in, on um, people on table 9A <laughs> are the people who are keeping heads up for inclusion going. And uh, we have hired three Trent graduates in the program, and Krista and Anna are two current employees that are Trent grads. And uh, I would like to thank them and, and uh, Jill on the board and John uh, for taking, taking up the reins and keeping a program going that really isn't very sexy <laughs> when you talk about uh, the inclusion of people with disabilities and leading that charge and making it happen. And to my dear friend Judy, uh, uh, who helped with the relationships to get the funding needed uh, when, uh, when it was still very necessary. So I thank them and I thank my son Paul. Maybe Paul, you'd like to stand up for just one second. been just far too shy and far too intimidated to even come into a room like this. And, um, and now here he is. <laughs> um, and Paul has been both my challenge and my inspiration. And, um, and he's living proof, as Paul has said, 
that, in fact, anything is possible. And I'm delighted to accept this award from Trent. Um, is, I'm very honored, and I'm particularly honored to receive it from Paul Wilson, who, to me, epitomizes the spirit of Trent.